Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Cookie and I have not done an intro in so freaking long. But today we are looking at my comic book and manga collection. Yes, we are doing that. Yes, I read. Yes, I am an intellectual with the IQ of 5,000 and above. But before I do that, I, I gotta give I gotta give a massive shout out. Attack Mike. He's a YouTube channel I watched quite early, I guess. Quite early? I don't know. Uh, I discovered him a while back when I was watching manga videos. And uh, dude uploads daily. A lot of manga content. It's amazing. Just, just go ahead and watch it. He's on 500 subscribers and he's doing sponsored content. Well, a few sponsors now, which is amazing. I, I'm so happy to see another content creator be as successful as he has. And it's amazing. But if you're interested, go check him out. He's my main inspiration for doing this video. But with any further, without any further you let's get right into this video so i'm gonna start off with my manga collection and we're gonna first start off with my hero academia my hero academia it's it's a little it's a little i say it's a little it's an amazing book amazing books so i first bought the first three volumes so obviously i'm gonna show what they look like so you got volume one you got volume two and then you got freaking volume three Damn. Basically, just to sum up what it is, I'm going to read what it says at the back like here. But it's basically, it's set in a world where people have quirks, which is like powers. There's heroes and villains. Yes, it's like superhero hero stuff. And there's a hero academy. And we follow the main character, Deku. Deku. And yeah, I mean, I don't want to spoil much, but it's got a really amazing art style, I think. I haven't read much, but... Uh, I think it's pretty amazing. I picked up the first three just to test out what it's like because I know the anime is quite successful and it's amazing. I really enjoy it and I suggest you can pick this up. Uh, my main goal with this video is to get more people reading and stuff like that. Get the first three volumes, check it out, see what you think of it. I personally loved it and I think many people would like like it. If you're into uh, superheroes, you'd like this stuff. But yeah, it, it, it's, a good, uh, it's a good manga. I'd suggest you pick it up. So next up is a massive amount of mangas and i have not read any of them yet but blue exorcist uh just gotta get it up <laughs> blue exorcist is well i don't know what it is <laughs> I, I i'm not gonna lie i've had bits of it i heard it's about like uh one of the characters has is the son of lucifer so the devil and he's got a step he's got a twin and they basically one of them is evil but they're trying to bring down the dad or something like that. That's probably wrong. It's probably not what it is, but I don't care. And I just, yeah, I picked up seven of these. Not one, just seven. I'll show you the covers as well, because I think some of them look dope. Like this one, down. That's volume one. That's dope. And then you got volume two, volume three, volume four. That looks just like a Joker kind of S character. Volume five, that is hella dope. Volume six, and bloody hell volume seven i just realized that's probably not an old lady it probably is i don't know it looks like it could be but regardless i think it looks pretty dope i've seen some of the art inside i've not read it yet but i mean damn boy i i'm not i'm not trying to spoil things and stuff like that reason i bought seven of these without even knowing much about the franchise is just because it wasn't a cheap price like seven volumes for 15 pounds which is roughly 20 dollars is not a bad price and I, I wanted to give it a try and like uh, I could I could easily gone and bought like only three volumes but I mean seven is not bad and it's not in bad condition like the books some of them some of the pages are slightly yellow and I've heard that's just because uh, the pages the paper they use in these are like get yellow due to like some sun stuff I don't know much about it because I'm only starting my collection but I can see some of my books have got a bit of yellowing to it so it's it's normal i mean the person that owned it has said they've got it since 2012 so it makes sense i mean up next this this is this is the biggest thing on my collection like the two biggest ones and that is i mean i i don't need to say anymore like you see this character this tiny bitch ass character and you know who it is it's freaking edivada elrica and yeah i mean for my alchemist it's my favorite anime one of my favorite animes and the manga it's damn it's it's really good like if if you've seen the anime and you want to get into manga i'd say pick up this one like this is my personal recommendation pick this one up because i think it's really good like it's basically like the anime but much better i mean i i, I personally found myself to enjoy this way more than i enjoyed the anime the first time around but like it's amazing so obviously the covers we got freaking edvard and uh Alphonse, 
I, I'm saying this with a random accent, which probably is racist, so I should stop. And then you've got freaking Scar himself. Scar! Oh, wait, there's too much shine on it. But you've got freaking Scar himself and the scar on his head. And then, obviously, you've got a few of the characters on the back. I'm not going to say who they are. But, yeah, I mean, they, they look much bigger, but that's because i got the three in ones. Uh, I couldn't find many of these separate volumes for a cheap price, so I bought three in ones, which were like seven pounds, guessing ten dollars. I guess I don't know, but I, I bought that. I mean, it's bigger paper quality. I'd say it's slightly worse, but I mean, to me, it was fine. I didn't find much of a difference. Some people don't like three in ones, but that's just them. Uh, if you want to pick up a manga for the first time, I'd say pick this up. It's amazing. If you don't know what it is, two brothers have lost uh, their bodies. They're going on a journey to find the Philosopher's Stone to restore their bodies. That's all you need to know. Alchemy is there. Uh, don't want to spoil it, basically. It, it's a good one. I'd say pick this up. Then going from my manga, that's pretty much all my manga for now. I'm obviously going to pick up more like more volumes of My Hero Academia and Full Metal Alchemist. And I'll probably read the Blue Exorcist at one point. But next up is my comic book collection. And damn, I have a few. Not many. I have a few. So the first one I ever bought was daredevil born again like damn it, it's a really old uh run i guess you could say uh just want to show some art of it but it's a really old one i really enjoy this and a reason i picked it up was because uh the netflix series was amazing series one and two was amazing and this is what series three was loosely based off apparently so I just went ahead and bought this. I, I really enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to read some Daredevil, I'd say this is pretty good. I mean, there's Man Without Fear, which is amazing as well. I've not read it yet. I've, I've seen bits of it on the internet. But that's the one I'd pick after this one, I'd say. And then next up, obviously, I did buy one Marvel and one DC just to see what they are. And this one's freaking incredible. I love this one so much. But the Flash Rebirth. This is the Flash Rebirth. Just the one itself not the whole run because i know there's a separate flash rebirth as well it's kind of confusing but this is basically on its own and like the art style in here i mean this is pretty amazing oh damn don't want to spoil it just damn it looks incredible but what it is is it's basically barry Allen pretty much back from crisis and uh just how it's affecting the world around him i guess i don't know there's green lantern in there no spoilers that i think that's a minor spoiler but there's the green lantern in there there's a few well multiple versions of the flashes and speedsters i'd say not even flashes just a few speedsters so we see volley vest impulse no more spoilers from here on. i really loved reading this and especially because i watched the flash tv show the cw one this is incredible I'd, I'm going to obviously pick up more DC stuff. So this is one of them. I've got a whole list. I'll probably chuck it up on screen of all the comics I want to read. And yeah, this is one of them. I really enjoy this. But the last one I've got for now is... Um, is it's I'd say it's a more known one. But it's the Infinity Gauntlet. Bruh. Bruh. I mean, this is pretty old. Just like from what you can see. But I picked this up straight after Endgame. I was going to pick it up before Infinity War... But I waited just to see, like, just so I could watch the movie first and then see the comics. And I've read majority of it. I think I'm halfway through, maybe less than halfway. But I loved it. I loved a lot of it. And yeah, I mean, it, if you're not, if you want to read this, I guess you could go ahead. I, I'd say out of the three, I'd say most people would probably go for Infinity Gauntlet, and it's really good. Just saying, it's not nothing like the... Well, I haven't read the whole thing, but there's many characters in here that do different things compared to the movies. I mean, we've got freaking Silver Surfer and stuff like that. You've got Lady Death. You've got, like, uh, some of the other X-Men characters, I guess. But, yeah, it, it's, it's a really good pickup. And then after here, I mean, I've got a few pieces and stuff that are in my collection. Not comic book, not manga related, but they're, I mean, here. So I've got this whole black book. And basically what it is, it's just, like... Uh, it's it's like a big portfolio. I work for this uh, uh I work for this marketing company for work experience, and I got that. And I got a few other bits and bobs. So I got the Avengers Empire magazine. I really wanted the Thanos one as well, but I couldn't find one. But this is really good. I mean, I got a free pop figure for that, which I'll show off in like a second. But it's a Nebula one. Nebula one. It's it's pretty cool. And the last one I got this for a birthday was Star Wars. Oh, it's too shiny now. Star Wars in a hundred scenes, and I think it's pretty incredible. Uh, I've read bits, most I can't fully remember it because it's such an old one, but I I found it fascinating to say the least, I guess. But yeah, 
Uh, that, that's my collection. I mean, if I'm going to recommend a bit of stuff, I should probably do it now because people are about to go off. But quick, comic books. Uh, Influencing Warner. Go get that. Or if you want to do some light reading, The Flash Rebirth. Then that's a that's a good one. I think I'd pick that over the Daredevil because this is just a solo, solo story in a way. Manga, uh, superhero stuff. If you want to get it, here at My Hero Academia. There's probably a few more, but this is just my ones ones that I've read. My Hero Academia. Uh, but what I would personally go for is probably Full Metal Alchemist because most people have seen Brotherhood, the anime, Incredible. This is pretty much the same thing. Just go ahead. Yeah, I don't know if this video is a mess or not, but yeah, hope you you enjoyed some of it. I guess. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.